If you guys are looking to buy cheap and reliable coins, make sure to check out my sponsor, redzonecoins.com. Use code Noble at checkout for 15% off your purchase. Link is in the description. What's up today, my fellow man soldiers. So in this video, what I'm gonna be doing is speaking about the ultimate rookie premiere that's supposed to be coming to Madden 23, which is going to be transferable to Madden 24 and also auctionable, which I think is very vital because some of you guys are curious right now or even going crazy completing a lot of these rookie premiere sets. They're very cheap in my opinion. I know a 500k is probably a lot to a lot of people, but it's actually a lot cheaper than previous years because in previous years, rookie premieres were close to a million coins. They'll probably drop as low as 800K, but they usually stood between 800 to a million coins. So considering the EA made it a little bit easier for people to actually get rookie premieres, I think is a big win, but they also are gonna like, I would say, I wouldn't say reward, but I guess you could say in a sense, like for those who do have coins and those who actually wanna do something, with the ultimate rookie premiere. So we're gonna speak about that right now and see if we should go about getting it and how I'm preparing to go about getting this ultimate rookie premiere because I wanna make sure that I have them in Madden 24 so I can start off the game with and I'm gonna be making content for you guys and showing you, you know, gameplay and stuff like that from the ultimate rookie, uh, rookie premiere. So anyways, let's go ahead and get right into it. I know there's a lot to start off with, but that was a lot of vital information you needed from the beginning. So here's the thing, right? Let's go to the item binder. E, the way EA is going about it this year, when it comes to, the only thing I don't like right now is them not telling us who the ultimate rookie premiere is so we actually could know and we could prepare for it or even like, you know, maybe get some coins, whatever the case may be, so we know what to do with our coins. But because EA ain't doing that because they want to keep us intact playing the game, um, I want to say intact, I don't think that's the right word, but they want to keep us involved playing the game, I should say, involved playing the game and I think they want to make sure that we spend a lot of these coins or even money on the packs before they release the ultimate rookie premiere so we can go ahead and uh, spend a lot more. So this is what I'm doing. I I'm being smart about it. I got 1.9 million coins. I actually was going to go about it and build my... I still have my 50-50 Cowboy theme team, but I did get rid of a few players, but I still managed to have a 9-9 overall Cowboy theme team, but I want to go back and get quite a few players, but when I seen that announced, so I'm glad I did, I was like, hold on here, I'm going to be very careful because I do want that ultimate rookie premiere, and having a Cowboy theme team right now this late in the season is cool, like a full uh, peer one, well, like I said, I do have one, but to have the full peer one to have certain players is not really relevant because it's close to Madden 24, so that's more important to me. Um, and also to you guys than anything. So let me go to the sets. Where's the set? Oh, here we go. My rookie premiere. All right. So here we go right here. Oh, we got this Logan Thomas. So you see, I completed all the rookie premieres, right? I completed all the rookie premieres so far, but I did that. Now the question is, should you do that? And I would say this. If you, if you guys are more for looking for coins, like off the top in Madden 24, then what I would do, it's not gonna hurt you to wait. You don't need to complete rookie premier sets right now. You can actually just stack up on players, um, save coins and do stuff like that and wait for the ultimate rookie premier. And then if you like him, then go ahead and pick him up. But if you don't, then you could be like, okay, well, I'm, I'm glad I didn't, I'm, I'm glad I still got these, these coins and these players. I go ahead and complete these other rookie premier sets. That's what I would do right now. I'm completing the rookie premiere sets because I'm, I think I'm pretty safe with 1.9 million coins. I don't think that the ultimate rookie premiere is going to go for that much. Also, he might not even cost me nothing. So keep that in mind. It may be considered, like, you know, they consider the ultimate rookie premiere. Maybe because if you complete all the sets, he comes at the end. Like, they, they may give them to you as a reward for completing all the sets. So we don't know how EA is going to go about... Um, releasing this ultimate rookie premiere and and, and uh, how are you gonna go about getting the rookie premiere? So they has us all guessing, but even if it has us all guessing, we could still wait and prepare and be uh, play about it smarter. Meaning that once again, you don't have to complete no sets. Save your coins, save your tokens, which I'm gonna show you right now where to go about getting because you get tons of tokens. Save everything. Do not buy not one rookie premiere right now wait for the ultimate rookie premiere to come out and then see like oh okay 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 um i don't want it or oh yeah i do want it and this is how you go about game let's go ahead and do it 
But once again, though, they call it the Ultimate Rookie Premiere. So in my mind, I'm automatically thinking, don't quote me on it because I'm basing it on the Team Diamonds. Usually when you get the Ultimate Team Diamond, which is the main Team Diamond, you have to complete all the previous Team Diamond sets. So, I mean, if they're going based on that schematic, which they have been using for, um, in Madden 23 already, then I would assume for the Ultimate Rookie Premiere, you would have to complete all 32 Rookie Premiere sets that's gonna come out or a lot of the Rookie Premiere sets. They could do either one, I'm maybe half of them, but what I'm trying to say is that that would make more sense to me considering they consider it the Ultimate Rookie Premiere. But, but let's just say that they don't. Let's just say that it's gonna be its own set and you have to get certain players or certain, I don't, I don't know what they're gonna do. Maybe, okay, let's go over here, let's go over here. This is, this is actually, so let's go right here. Cause this is actually another thing that, that I thought about too, right? That I'm gonna show you guys, these players right here. Maybe I'm thinking that maybe you have to put all the top uh, red zone Royale players, like all the all the 99 gold red, red, that's another thing that does, that, that can make sense too. Besides all the rookie premieres, which would be reasonable, but then again, unreasonable because it's like hard to attain all those. But once again, you might have to um, use all these 99 gold red zone royale players that they release into the ultimate rookie premiere set to get the ultimate rookie premiere. So it could be either one or it could be both. So to, to keep that in mind, because I know EA could do that too, to where they're like, okay, well, if you completed all the 32 rookie premiere sets, you could get this, go ahead and get this ultimate rookie premiere. But if you didn't, and you completed all the Red Zone Royale players, or you want to complete the red, uh, all the Red Zone Royale players, that's another way to get all the rookie premieres, which I think will be kind of like you know, uh, I, I really don't care, but I don't know, I don't know that what their uh, what their way of thinking is and how they're going to go about doing it, right? But these are all ideas that I'm thinking about. But once again, I want to make sure that you guys go about smartly and making sure that you guys don't make the mistake of just wasting all your coins and not having an opportunity to get this ultimate rookie premiere because I'm telling you guys right now, I'm going to go into it real quick, is that if you guys want coins to start off matting with, that ultimate rookie premiere is going to help out a lot. It's going to help out a lot. It's going to help your guys' team a lot. You're going to be able to sell it and get actually get the players that you want on your squad. However, however, the what would be the smartest thing? That's up to you guys because I don't know how you guys go about building your team. If you just want the coins, and that would be. But to me, in my mind, I don't know what the overall of these players are going to be. So that's why I'm telling you guys, just wait until we find out more if you guys want to be safe about it. Me, once again, I'm going to do it anyway. So if they're all low overalls, I don't care. I got the coins, why not? But for some people who don't got a lot of coins, I will tell you to wait. Wait, do not. And if you already completed a set and you got more coins, wait. Do not buy anything. Do not buy no new players. Do not buy nothing. And hold on to your coins and be patient because I'm telling you right now, you want to make sure you know the overall of the players and the overall of the ultimate rookie premiere. Because if these um rookie premieres right now the the ones we got in the game right now if they start off matting with the overall 86 and higher then if i had to pick between the ultimate rookie premiere and the 86s like say give you give you an example if i had to choose between um six or higher rookie premieres or one ultimate rookie premiere i would definitely go with the six rookie premiere unless i really feel that that rookie premiere is going to be like a million coins then i would definitely go with the rookie premiere um, I would definitely go with the ultimate rookie premiere because that means that I'll be able to buy whatever player I want and participate in certain programs soon as Madden 24 drops, right? Because that's a lot of coins. But we'll get an idea more so when they actually release more information on it. But the best thing that I could tell you guys right now is save your coins. Do not complete no more sets from here on forth. I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue to do it. I'll make videos on it and I'll continue to show you guys which is the best ones and so forth. But once again, if you ain't got like that, do not waste your coins. Do not complete no sets. Just wait because whether you do it now or later, you're still going to be able to do it. So you might as well have be able to have more, more to work with once everything drops. And then you can make a better decision then. Wait till everything drops. Then you'll be like, okay, this is what I want to complete and then go forth from there. So that's what I would say. Any questions, put in the comment section. But be, be careful how you go about uh, getting your rookie premieres. Until next time.